Hi there. <laughs> I'm back where I was in the last video on this rather wonderful, very sandy soil where there are lots of signals, lots of targets, and it is nice and sunny, but absolutely bloody freezing, especially when the, when the um, clouds go over. I wish I bought a coat. I may even have to go back for one. But I found quite a few things already, which I'll show you in a second. But more importantly, it seems like every time I go out these days, I find one of these, and I'm a bloody What a sound that made. Now I know what it is because I've seen the back of it, but I haven't seen the front of it. And it's, <laughs> it's another brooch. It's a bloody... <laughs> now, there's the back. So that's the giveaway. It's a disc brooch of sorts. And <laughs> I know exactly what it is because I found one of these um, about three videos ago and it's a Saxon brooch. It's a bore or boar style Saxon, Saxon brooch um, which is the interlacing that comes with these sort of Viking-y, it's not Saxon, it's more sort of Anglo-Scandinavian Viking but my god that might be <laughs> not the same as the last one, it's very similar and um, it might be even nicer than that. <laughs> I can't believe it. The amount of brooches I found recently is just Cobsmacking. Um, we will. We'll go back to headquarters quickly. We'll have to with this because I want to compare it to the last one I found. So sorry to have to go back there so early, um, but we'll come back here straight away. I'll leave my stuff here. Let's go. Hi there, and welcome to headquarters. Well, my God, I have been lucky recently, especially when it comes to brooches. I mean, I've just found some absolutely fabulous ones. And here is one of the little drawers I have for a cabinet where I keep my nicer stuff that I just want to have sort of slightly better displayed. And as you can see, I have, well, there's a lead one there I found fairly recently. I've got that dragon one here that I found fairly recently. I mean, th that one's quite a nice one. That's a mount of sort. Um, and then this one as well, which is, well, let me just get rid of this. And the one I found that day is, I've had, I've properly checked it. It is identical, absolutely identical. It's identical in size. It's identical, um, the, 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 the backs are, are, are the same. There's only one slight difference. It's the one I found the other day was slightly thicker. It's slightly thicker and slightly more concave or convex. Well, um, there is, an, there is a thing for that, isn't there? And yeah, I think it's convex because concave is a, is a thing that you go into, something like that. Um, anyway, this is the first one I found and it's really nicely cleaned up. Again, that took, that took me some time. It was very sandy soil and I haven't really done anything really to this one yet, um, but the design is identical. They're basically the same brooch, even though I did find them a good distance apart, with n n no great surprise, but what I'm the point I'm trying to make is that they weren't sort of in the same area at all. Um, and they are, I, I'm, I've talked about them before in a previous video when I found the earlier one. They're what's called Bore style, after a place in Sweden where a Viking horde of all sorts of things and jewellery, um, coins and jewellery and other artefacts were found and they had this sort of interlace intertwined sort of design and um, which is sort of you know quite Celtic as well in many ways but they're, they're not they're sort of Viking sort of straight Ando Scandinavian and they are absolutely wonderful so god I'm lucky I mean to find one is lucky to find two now is just I mean mind-boggling and they are the most tactile things and I can't wait to clean that one up it's going to come out a slightly paler colour, probably due to where I found it and, and ground conditions and stuff. But as I said, to all intents and purposes, it's the same brooch. They're sort of Anglo-Scandinavian. They date to the 10th or the 11th century. And I'm just absolutely thrilled. I mean, just to have two of them. So maybe I can wear um, one on, one on each, each, each shoulder. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Tasky, up! Um, <laughs> That's his new toy. Is it completely inseparable from that thing? 
Um, he absolutely loves it. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to all that. And, um, and let's go back to the fields. I'm going to try and keep these bits really short because I've got to come back a couple more times. Um, and we've got a bit to get in. Well, oh my God. I mean, I don't know what to say. Um, here are the other bits I found before, before that. And there's a signal right next door to this brooch, which I haven't dug yet, which we'll dig in a second. It's a big cloud going over. Um, here we go. So, a, a quite a nice, very old um, harness looking like ring of sorts. A musket ball, a very nice, probably a post-medieval belt mount of sorts, maybe medieval. That looks like it might have some silvering on it. That's nice, that. Um, and, a, and an interesting piece of bronze. Now, I don't know what that is, but having found that brooch, it even, could be even more exciting than I thought. Because um, it wasn't very far from it. It looks like it might be part of a ring or a handle of sorts. Really cool. And then this. A nice big dandy button with original gilding on it. I don't quite know what it depicts. I think there's something there though. I hope you can hear me, it's really windy. It's bloody cold and it's really windy. And I think I'm gonna to have to go back to the car, which is a good 15 minutes away, to get something to wear because I'm freezing, lest the sun comes out a bit more. Um, anyhow, that's a lovely button. That'll clean up nicely. So, wow. And then here, so that was the brooch. I mean, that's really punchy too. But that's what, the, that's what the brooch sounded like. So let's just, I mean, that's really, it's just what the brooch sounded like and it's a foot away. It's, it's bound not to be any good, but, but you can't not live dig something like this. No, it's sounding really horrible. Ah, it's just typical, isn't it? It's just typical, typical, typical. It's, I found a bit of this, I don't know what it is, it's modern rubbish. Um, it's really light and makes the most incredible sound, but it's just, I don't know what they, I don't know, I can't remember what this is, but it's no good. Um, just horrible, just burnt something or other. But anyway, that doesn't matter because my hope is really up now. Um, of finding some really cool things. Anyway, I hope you can hear me. It's so windy and bloody cold. <laughs> My God, I thought I'd find another one, but it's not. <laughs> it was round. I thought, My God, my luck's in today. It's not. It's just a tarp ring. Ah, but my, they, they make a good sound. These things. And it's fairly obvious to see why they're round. They look like a ring. They've got a hole in the middle. It's copper, copper alloy. Yeah. My God, it is lovely when the sun is out and freezing when it's not. And neither of these cameras are very good with changes of light, I'm afraid. Especially that one. Haven't worked it out yet, but... Oh, stop. Um, it, it goes from looking really wonderful to it i can't any, anyway very boring but look at this now this is more what i was expecting from here <laughs> not the saxon or viking i i thought it'd be roman and i didn't i didn't need to die, live dig this because it's on the surface And I can see what it is. It's a brooch. It's a big brooch. <sighs> just lying there. Look, it's just lying there. And, <laughs> my God. Well, I had a feeling it was going to be good up here. We were here last time, I was rushing around rather. We found a couple of Roman coins, a bit of medieval stuff. Um, I, I, I wasn't majorly hopeful, but it was definitely worth giving another go. And my God, already, 
I mean, look at that. It's a big one. I mean, what a beauty. It's pretty much all there, okay? It doesn't have its spring and it doesn't have its pin, but it's, it's got its catch. And not only has it got its catch, it's got rather a lovely design on it, sort of cross hatching by the look of it. Um, I don't know what they're called. Is it a dolphin or Colchester? If in doubt, it's probably a Colchester sort. It's got some lovely markings on it. Wow, absolutely wonderful. What a brooch. Look, crikey, one after the other. And it's got some really nice roundels there on each side. Gosh. God, I'm glad I came up here today. And um, this is my last day out for a while, for various reasons. And God, I just hope it keeps on going like this. Well, I'm still waiting on a coin today. And I thought that might be it, look. Oh, I mean, how can you find brooches and not coins? I wonder. Um, that's just a button, just a button. But gosh, it sounded like a coin as well, a little Roman coin. Well, it's warming up a bit, hooray. God, I was cold earlier, freezing. Now, I still haven't found a coin. But if that's not a button, of any sort by the way, but if that's not a button, if, but if that's not a coin or a button, I'll eat my hat. My lovely hat I put away, hopefully. It might be a piece of lead, a little bit of lead. It's funny how the dares loses it sometimes when it's dislodged. That usually means that it's dislodged and it's in the hole somewhere. <sighs> no, I thought uh, it's just a little lump of lead. Um, but that's what makes the, I mean, that it's a good sign. But it's lovely, isn't it? Nice and clipped. Oh, I'm surprised we haven't found a coin. We find Saxon and Roman stuff and medieval, but, um, but not a coin yet. I'm afraid I really can't live dig everything. I'd be here setting up all day. It's just sod's law that what I'm not live digging is good. That sounded very foily. Less foily there, but... Cartridge. I would have bet on a crappy bit of cartridge any day. It's not, it's another brooch, but it's the shape of a brooch anyway. <sighs> Got to start over. <laughs> It's an absolutely cracking one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The colour of it is just gorgeous. Now, is that a dolphin type going like that? Or is it a T-shaped? I, I, I'm not sure. They're so confusing, some of these brooches. Right, it's missing its spring. It's missing its pin. It's even missing the lip of its catch. But what is left is absolutely gorgeous. My God, that's three now. That's three of the most stunning brooches I've found in ages. Right, well, let's go back and look at these two Roman ones now. I wouldn't have headquartered one Roman brooch at the moment, but two, definitely. Right. As always, I've just, I'll just leave everything here and come back for it. Hi there. Let's have a very quick look at these brooches. 
I mean, I found loads of women brooches, as you know, but these are two absolutely cracking ones. Now, I haven't got completely to the bottom of the, these. Um, this is the great place to start. I often talk about this, Hat Hat's visual guide. It's a catalogue of all the brooches that he's that are, were, are or were in his collection. Um, and then you use this to be pointed to one of the four books that he produced with details of each. Now, it, women brooches. You've got loads of different types, and quite a lot of them are quite recognisable. Head stud brooches are quite recognisable. Um, trumpet brooches are extremely recognisable. You're not going to miss one of those. Um, rosette brooches, you won't miss those. Um, even the hod hill types here, I mean, you're not going to miss one of those once you know what they look like. Um, Langton Down, they're fairly sort of recognisable too. But when it comes to ones like these, it gets a bit trickier. Now, I think the smaller one is a dolphin brooch. I think it's called dolphin because of the way it looks like it's sort of a dolphin leaping into the water. And then the other one, as I think I said at the time, I think that's a T-shaped brooch of sorts. But if you look at your hat hat, I mean, the amount of T-shaped brooches there and the amount of dolphin brooches, it's where it gets a little bit confusing. So as I said, they're probably first, second century AD. Um, and I reckon, as I said, I reckon that one's a T-shaped brooch and I think the other one's a dolphin brooch. Um, the detail on this, on the T-shaped, well, on what I'm calling the T-shaped brooch, of the catch is really beautiful. There's sort of hatching and zigzagging there. And then there are three little roundels on the, on the other side of it and a couple of little roundels on this side as well. And they're both missing their springs and their pins, but they've both got their catch plates and their absolute beauties. I mean, I really, they're, they're my fave. God, I'm lucky. I love collecting. I love finding brooches and I do find quite a few. And, and those two are just, oh, I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll be in pride of place in my collection amongst the other ones. Absolutely love them. And let's go back to the fields. Hooray, finally a coin. Sounded like all those buttons that I've been digging up, so I didn't live dig it. I am sorry, um, but it is. It's a it's a coin that's fabulous. I was getting a little bit not worried, but it's odd not to find. Um, you know, just wondered why I hadn't found any coins since it does seem to be obviously Roman. Okay, it's a sort of fourth century bronze, um, sort of House of Constantine. It's not the best in the world. Um, but it might clean up, funnily enough. Um, is it winged victory on that side? It's, um, it's the emperor facing left. I don't think that's one of the, um, it's the constant, I don't think it's the commemorative coin that faces that way. I think this looks more like an emperor to me. Um, and it's a lovely little bronze coin. And so I think that's winged victory on the back. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but that's brilliant. A nice little Roman coin, hooray! Look, I'm really pleased with that. I love finding Roman coins. Let's hope that's the first of a few. <laughs> Here's a sound right next door to it. Now if I was finding loads of coins, I would swear that was a coin. But you just, there just don't seem to be enough here. But my God, it's an exciting field suddenly. <laughs> but it's out, whatever. Not a coin, but it's similar. I don't think it's very special. It's one of those drawing pinny type things. I don't know where, I don't know what I'm, um, don't think they're very old though, are they? But look, that's what made that noise. <laughs> Sod's bloody law. That's gonna, that's gonna come and bite me later, I can tell if I don't put it somewhere careful. Well that gave a hell of a noise. I mean, like a, like a big silver coin. And I'm not quite sure why, but look, isn't that rather lovely? Got its pin in it still. I'm not sure how old these are. 
not particularly, I don't think. Um, but I mean, just lovely to have have it all there. Isn't that what a lovely little buckle? Um, I just don't know on that. But to have the pin in. Got any design on it? Or is it a bit silvered? How lovely! I don't think that's Roman, so it's something a bit different. And that's nice too. Sorry, it's just really cold at the moment, and I'm not, I'm not going to set up my camera and stuff until something really good comes up. But that's a lovely piece of strap end with a bit of nice gilding on it. God, this field is turning up some interesting stuff. And that sounded like a rifle round, that's why I didn't dive dig it. It sounded too, too serious. Now, my God, now that looks interesting to me. I've no idea what it is. It's unlike anything I think I've found. Is it a, is it a, um, is it something, is it a harness pendant um, thing that it dangles from? Wow. Now, God, is that going to be modern? <laughs> can't be, can it? It can't be. But it looks like one of those things that you, you have to, um, to pull out screws and nails and things. It's got something that, that gets you know, bigger and then gets smaller so that you can catch it. But um, those... I've no idea what that is. Um, nothing on the end there. I mean, my gut feeling says that's ancient. It's wonky and sort of, but, and it's got a hole in it there. <laughs> I think I've seen a photograph of this. Someone's going to say, if I put that on the detecting hub, which is brilliant for IDs and stuff, someone's just going to say, oh, it's a drawer handle. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like one of those drop down drawer handles slightly. My God. Now, I do actually have on me, by mistake, I kept it on me from last time I was here. A little bit of a bronze fragment, um, which I got excited about at the time. Look at all the rubbish I'm finding. Um, let me see if I've got it here. Now, I found this last time I was up here and I thought, well, actually, it's not too similar, but you can see where I'm sort of coming from. No, it's not the same thing at all. But... <sighs> that cam, that cam is about to switch itself off. It's got a boring alarm, which says he's getting boring, ding. So I might just have to rely on this one in a minute. Whatever it is, I absolutely bloody love it. That's the most interesting thing I've found in ages. And I hope it's not just a modern thing for taking out screws and, pit and nails. <laughs> that's, what it that's what it looks like. Please don't be modern. Please be old. Okay, early spoiler alert. <laughs> it's not very old at all. There was just something about it. My mind was playing tricks with me on the field. I just imagined some Iron Age or sort of Celtic Druid or something having it round his neck that way or that way um, and even though on the day the claw bit that bit was sort of just giving me sort of doubts in my mind it's when I got it at home I did I honestly thought a sort of Celtic Druid or something would be having it round his neck but when I got it home as soon as I got it home I put it on the table like that and I thought it's a bloody hammer <laughs> it's just a hammer um but it's it's even worse. So I thought well, at least it might be an early hammer. Um, because it looks, I mean, come on, this looks ancient to me. Um, apart from the claw bit. Um, um I thought at least it might be an early hammer, but what confused me was it was slightly rounded at the end, and I thought, well, not the easiest hammer in the world if it's got a very gentle rounded bit. So anyway, I put it on the detectinghub.co.uk and they came back straight away and said pipe tamper, which I think for those who don't know, because I wasn't exactly sure. I mean, common sense sort of told me what it was, you know, what they used for. But I think they would have had a handle of sorts and you would have used it to tap down the tobacco and stuff um, to, keep your, to keep your tobacco 
pipe going and maybe that end was used for cleaning it out. I don't know, but anyway, it's not Iron Age. It's not a sort of Iron Age artifact, but it bloody well looks like it could be. Um, I was then pointed, in fact, I then, having found that out rather disappointingly, I got online to the Portable Antiquities Scheme and I found one very similar. In fact, it's almost identical. Uh, mine's in better condition, but that's about it. And it says post medieval copper alloy pump and pipe tamp in the form of a claw hammer. Um, dates between 1600 and 1850, probably around 1750. Now, the only hope I have to cling on to is that the portable antiquity scheme do not always get it right. And the fact that they found something and they say pipe tamper does not give it, it they're not the Pope, they're not infallible. It doesn't mean that it is a pipe tamper. And part of me thinks it may not be. It may be a type of hammer of, of, of sorts. Um, a little, little bit of me um, thinks hopefully not um but that's often the mistake especially when we start this hobby we think we find the most incredible things and we see things in lead blobs that no one else sees and we're convinced that we find something absolutely wonderful and we don't take no for an answer and when the, our elders and betters say it's not that i'm afraid it's just this we we, we 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 sort of go yes 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 but secretly we think no i know it's a celtic this or or a or a Roman that when we're probably wrong. So I think I am probably absolutely wrong. And this is just a pipe tamper, an 18th century pipe tamper, but secretly just a little bit of me hopes <laughs> that it's something a bit more special and it bloody well deserves to be because it looks like it should be. Very quickly while I've got you, this is a painstaking process, but look at the detail I have got out of this um, horse harness pendant. This is a proper pendant, not that rubbishy thing. Um, it was, if, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the link to the video where I found it below because it came out, you can see, like that. That's what it was. Deep, deep, crusted dirt, etc. But it's taken me hours and hours. But look at the gilding and the, and the design and the detail coming out on that. And when I've got another eight hours to spare, I will, I'll, go, I'll, I'll keep on doing it. And I'm using mainly, believe it or not, the composite cleaning pencil with the brass um um the, the the brass end which i you need to keep sharpening on um on um on sandpaper but my god it's doing a good job and i think that would scratch i think the white one would scratch it but um i'm, I'm filled with that anyway let's get back to the field my god it looks like it's gonna rain any minute and i'm absolutely freezing i didn't bring my raincoat i'm really cross Well, I've had a really, really fun morning, fun day, but I can feel little spots of rain. I'm bloody freezing. I'm really cross I didn't bring my coat and a hat, but we can't have everything. I've, had, I've just been so lucky. I can't seem to leave the house these days without finding a Saxon brooch. And I know I said that to annoy you. I'm sorry, I, I have been really lucky. It, I'm, I'm hoping it's karma and not selling one soul to the devil. Right, well that's nice and sparky, whatever. Um, bit too sparky, possibly. And it is an interesting piece of lead. <laughs> I had to pick it up. An interesting piece of lead. Um, I'm not surprised that sounded like that. I don't know what this is. Is it a pot mend of sorts? Yes, possibly. And um, it looks very pressed. It looks where it's gone in somewhere. I mean, that's old, old, old. Um, and not the most exciting thing to end on, but proper old, I would imagine. Um, it might clean up with something on it, but I think that's what it is. I think it's a pot mend. Perhaps a medieval or a Roman pot mend. Well, I'm going to go and warm up. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm absolutely thrilled. I've just had one of the best days again. I've really enjoyed it. And, um, and see you next time. <laughs>